Hello guys and today I'm back with another episode of this Pac-Man series and today we are going to be making the Pac-Man movement as I'm going to write here. If you did enjoy the last episode leave a like and subscribe and let's just get into episode 2. The first thing we want to do with Pac-Man movement because it depends how you want it. If you want it to move as in you want it to move for example like the pong series where you just click it once and it'll move once you can do that but if you want it to move if you click let's say the up arrow once it just continually moves as pac-man originally is that's what we are going to be doing in the demonstration today and that's how it's going to be i will show you how to do the other way really briefly at the end and yeah let's just get right into it so the first thing we need to do is add another attribute to our pac-man so we want to do pacman dot direction is equal to stop. So the direction it's going to move at is stop. So it, it won't move, right? But we are going to be making a death movement. So pacman's movement. If pacman dot direction is equal equal to up. So it's going up, we want to do it, so y, oh, we need to define y, so y is equal to pacman dot y core, whoops, uh, get rid of that, and then we want to do it, so y plus equals, um, y plus equals, remember the plus equals, so it's adding onto it, what the original value was already was so if this is zero we want a plus equals for example 20 so it'll be 20 and then whenever if it's still up it'll go another 20 and again and again and again now we want to do the same with the other directions which we can just copy and paste with down copy and paste this um and then we just do minus equals 20 because down is going down this direction y negative numbers is down here positive is up here negative x is here positive x is here in python that's how it works now we want to do with um left and right so if we just do left we need to get the x coordinates and then we want to do this but we're going left so remember x left is negative numbers this direction so we want to minus equals 20 and then now we can do the same here change it to x coordinates and then here we want to keep x plus equals 20 whilst going to the right and then this is the movement that it will have it will, because we don't want to keep setting it as stop I'll show you what we get from this from this little here now as you can see nothing has changed from the Pac-Man from the last episode from the end of the last episode that's because we actually haven't called this movement function so if we want to call it in the continuous main game loop here movement here and let's say for example we want to go up we'll change that manually it will go up maybe not ah, okay error here that i've made is that we hadn't actually we've um we've defined y given it the y core y plus equals here but then we want to set y to the new pacman dot set y to the new y that's why it's not uh moving as we as i thought it would let's just do that real quick set x here remember because this is x coordinates pacman dot set x and your x now let's see if it's going up there you go it went up as quickly as you see and as you see it drew a line just to see what pattern it made as now we now we know that it's definitely working we don't want the pacman to draw a line wherever it goes unless you do want to do uh for that to happen but if you don't 
just put in pacman.penup and it won't draw on the screen. If you do, that's absolutely fine and you just won't need this line. Then you can see the pattern that's gone through throughout the whole game. But if you do want that, keep that in. Now, for the second set of the movement, because we don't want to keep this going, uh, we don't want to keep changing this direction manually whenever we want it to move that direction, we need to do some window bindings. So now if we do here, window bindings functions. So we want to do here, remember at the start of the line, not indented into this function, def, um, def let's say move up, we want to do pacman dot direction, direction is equal to up, def move down, direction pacman dot direction is equal to down, def move left, pacman dot direction is equal to left and then last one def move right whoops here pacman dot direction 2t dot direction equal to right now the oops didn't put the we don't need a bracket. Now we've made these, they won't actually work, we're not calling them, but as we did in the Pong tutorial, we need to set them. So set window bindings. No, so first thing we want to do, start a new line here. We want to do window.listen, like we've done in many different videos. For example, the button one, we want the window to listen for button clicks. Window.listen, key press we want it to do for example move up and then here we want you can either do w or the up arrow i'm just going to do the up arrow we would use with a capital u now we want to do the same with the others window dot on e press here move down and then down window dot on Key press move here. move left we want to do left and then window dot on key press move right we want to do right now Let's just keep it as stop so it doesn't move. And let's see what happens now. Wow. As you can see, it's traveling very, very quickly. And we don't want that. So we can just slow down this, put it as one. Now you have a working pattern still going quite quickly but at least it is working. I am clicking the arrow keys and it is working perfectly. It's going quite quickly. If you don't want this to happen, you can make it literally 0 0.1, 0 0.1. I'll show you a demonstration on how to do that. 0 point. Change those values to 0 0.1 and then it should move quite very slowly. But obviously you don't want it this low. You can mess around with those numbers and see what values work for you. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment what you would like me to do next other than this Pac-Man series. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. And peace!